turn on the unit. This is the new Yes Welder Cut 55 DS Pro. Um, it's 55 amp blowback start, so it's no touch, no high frequency, which is ideal for CNC. Here's my downdraft, because I built my thing on top of a dryer assembly. And I'll go ahead and do a uh, cut. Mach 3. Really clean cuts, very little dross, and that's on a painted steel plate. And uh, it actually cuts better than the Hypertherm fine cut consumables. Um, and it's just a little cheap yes welder. So I'll now show you uh, how to put this together. Okay guys, here we have the uh, IPT40 uh, cutting head, the handheld cutting head. We're going to get a fine tip Phillips head screwdriver and remove all the screws. Once we have it opened up, uh, we're going to cut away the switch and the head sensor because it's not required when Mach 3 is controlling the new machine torch. We're going to tuck the wires away. Now notice that this copper fitting is threaded. So here I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees and that takes the output um, line into a vertical configuration rather than the horizontal where it went off before. And we're going to tuck everything into the cover. And then we'll go ahead and put on the base, and that's where you have access to install all the screws again that you just took out. Be sure when you're tightening these screws not to over tighten. You only want to tighten them until the two sides come together. And you want to squeeze the unit as you're tightening those screws. So here it is, six screws back in, and uh, that's the torch head. It's ready to mount on your system uh, however you want. The output cable is slightly flexible. Um, you can still change the consumables the same way you did before, but remember there's no uh, sensor to sense that the consumables are in place, so don't fire the machine without it. 